uniting and strengthening America by providing appropriate tools required to intercept and obstruct Terrorism Act of 2001, or the USA Patriot Act, has been one of the most criticized and scrutinized pieces of legislation in recent memory. But is it really all it's cracked up to be? Many have argued the act and other practices violate civil liberties. So what role do civil liberties have in the war on terror? We'll find out on this episode of Perceptions in the Law. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Adcock. Today we're going to talk about the issue of civil liberties in the war on terror. As we said in the introduction, when you go to war, the balance between increased security and civil liberties, or security and civil liberties, is going to shift to some degree towards increased security. Common sense and history teaches us that it happens in every war. Uh, the issue is where do you draw the line? How much civil liberties are we giving up to fight this particular war? And that's something the American people deserve to have an open and full discussion about, no question about that issue. Unfortunately, as we mentioned in one of the previous series, politics always get, gets involved in this issue. And you've heard it, of course, if you've been in American society in the last 10 years. The Patriot Act, for example, has been demonized by certain individuals in our society as the worst thing that ever happened to the American people. Um, and the Patriot Act, of course, was passed by Congress by an overwhelming majority after 9-11. And it had expiration pivot points on it through the years, and each time it has been extended by the Congress. And many people, as you'll discover, that demonize the Patriot Act, they end up voting for it when it comes up for renewal, which is kind of humorous. But the Patriot Act was signed and passed, as I indicated, by every member of the Senate, except for one senator. And that senator says, not that I'm opposed to the Patriot Act, I just like a little time to read and find out what's in it, which sounds reasonable. But that's human nature. When crisis hits, we demand action, and many times our elected representatives pass legislation to do something. Now, the Patriot Act didn't add any new laws into the books. It merely amended existing laws. And there's three major components to the Patriot Act. And the reason I'm talking about the Patriot Act is because that's really the central focus when you talk about civil liberties. So the first thing that the Patriot Act did that was, um, that was, that was thought was you know, outlandish, which really isn't, is they looked at the old laws associated with getting a search warrant for someone um, to find out where they're at, the wiretap, the telephone. And the Patriot Act merely said that, look, the old technology of getting a warrant from a judge attached to a specific phone line, that's outdated. We have cell phones now. And the terrorists will use 5, 6, 7, 20 cell phones. So we're going to attach the warrant to the person, not to the cell phone, which makes sense. Uh, one of the other issues that's demonized about the Patriot Act is the fact of the sneak and peek search warrants. And critics say, well, did you know that the Patriot Act allows federal agents to get a warrant, to go into your house, sneak around, and then leave, and never tell you they were there? It's almost as if they just discovered this phenomenon. Actually, the sneak and peek search warrant provisions have been in existence for decades. Federal judges have been issuing those in the, uh, in the case of drug cases, where you want to catch the big drug lord, you get a sneak and peek search warrant to go into the house of the small individual, look around, look at their computers to find out information about the bigger individuals in the chain of command dealing with drugs. And then later on when you make the arrest, you announce to them, hey, we did come into your house when you were gone. We got information that was authorized. So the Patriot Act merely extended that power to terrorism cases. And then the third component that's, that's allegedly so disturbing is people will say, did you know the Patriot Act authorizes secret judges in Washington, D.C. that issue secret warrants in the name of national security. And of course it's very humorous because what they're referring to is the Foreign Intelligence and Surveillance Act. This was passed in 1979, so these secret judges that many of the critics are complaining about, they just discovered, have been in existence for decades. What the Patriot Act merely said is that they extend the provisions to deal with terrorism, with terrorists that have connections in regard to uh, external terrorists, foreign terrorists, and we've had some provisions with the, uh, the Sunshine issues um, and, the, uh, and the acts associated with the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which has been amended many, many times. Too complex to cover right now, but the bottom line is that the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act has authorized these things. The Patriot Act merely empowered existing laws. 
Um, if you are actually fairly level-headed about the Patriot Act and actually read it, you'll find that it's extremely benign. But the one thing that we do know is that if you're in this war against Al-Qaeda, in this metaphor use of the war against radical Islamic extremists, if you're trying to stop them at the airport, if you're trying to stop them at the bus station, if you're trying to stop them at the train station, you're too late. You've got to stop them before they get to the airport, before they get to the bus station, before they get to the train station. Well, how do you do that? You have to do it with intelligence because these groups use our freedoms against us. They don't wear uniforms. They don't fight on battlefields. They hide amongst us. So you've got to have intelligence, and that's what the Patriot Act recognizes. They recognize that we need to give the tools to our law enforcement agencies to gather the intelligence to stop them before the attacks are launched. date on the latest news, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.